y'all so in this video we're going to be going over some deals that are going on at CVS this week and as you can see at the beginning of the video I did get a lot of different items but I use more than one of my CVS cards so in this video we're going to only be going over the transactions from one of the cards so let's go ahead and get started Transaction number one, I bought four packs of Huggies at $8.99 each. The total for those was $35.96. I bought two Nivea lotions that were $6 each. The total for those was $12. And I bought four Maybelline mascaras and they were $7.99 each. And the total for those was $31.96. So for the Huggies, the CVS coupons I had was a total of $8 worth. And as you can see right here on the receipt, I had a $5 off $25 coupon and a $3 off $20 coupon. Those are in-app coupons. Those are like personalized coupons. So if you downloaded the CVS apps, you probably have those coupons too or something similar to those. So yeah, those are the ones that I use for the diapers. So after CVS coupons, that brought my total down to $27.96. And the manufacturer coupons I had was $10 worth. So the coupons I used are right here. They're out of the 619 Smart Source. And I did use these two because they're higher value than that one. So if you're okay with it, make sure you get the coupon for the Little Movers diapers or the Little Snugglers diapers. So deducting $10 brings my total down to $16.96 for the diapers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Nivea. They were $12 altogether. And in coupons, I had a total of $4 off. And this is the coupon I use right here. You guys can see it's $2 off any one Nivea in shower body lotion product. This is the one that I used and this is out of the same insert that the diapers was out of so those are together so after coupons that brought my total down to eight dollars for the lotion so let's look at the Maybelline the total for that was thirty one dollars and ninety six cents in CVS coupons I had three dollars worth it was three dollars off ten any cosmetics again that is an in-app coupon and in manufacturer coupons, I had $12 worth. I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera all over the place. In manufacturer coupons for the Maybelline, I had $12 worth. And these are the coupons that I use. This is the 619 Red Plum. So the one that just came out. And I had to get the Spider Effect Mascara because that's what the coupon was for. I didn't want to use this coupon because it was only, you know, worth $2. So I would rather go with more. So I did get the Spider Effect Mascara. So I used four of those coupons. That was $12 off. That brought my total down to $16.96 for that. So after taking off all those coupons, my total was at $42.92. And I did have one more CVS coupon. It was $10 off a $60 purchase. And my total was definitely over $60. So after taking that $10 off the entire purchase, my total was at $32.92 cents and I received twenty dollars in extra bucks because if you take a look at the ad right here you'll see that when you spend thirty dollars on any of these products listed below you'll get ten dollars back so I bought four that's over thirty dollars so I got ten dollars back for that you see the mascara right there and then you see it advertises the ten dollars off thirty cosmetics but I didn't use that one in this transaction I actually used that on another transaction so yeah anyway if you buy two you get five dollars and I bought four so I got ten dollars back for that so let's go ahead and move on to the next transaction 
and keep in mind that you guys don't have to spend as much as I did you know I haven't been to CVS in almost four weeks because the deals just haven't been all that great to me so I definitely had CVS money waiting to be spent I was so excited to jump back into couponing at CVS but you guys don't have to spend what I spent you don't have to do the deals the same way I did you definitely can roll your ECBs in a different way to keep your out of pocket lower. This is just what I wanted to do because I miss CVS and I wanted to get, you know, diapers like I told you guys in another video. I love doing the diaper deals, but when you do diaper deals, your out of pocket is going to be a little bit higher because, you know, we're talking about diapers and diapers, you know, are not cheap at all. So let's go ahead and look at transaction number two. I got two Charmin priced at $9.99, so that was $19.98, and I got one Bounty that was also $9.99, so my total was at $29.97. So if you look at the ad right here, you'll see that if you spend $30 on any of these products listed below, you will receive $10 back. So I got two Charmin and one Bounty. Now there is a $1 off coupon on coupons.com. I however did not have that coupon on me and I didn't feel like it was even worth it for me to wait and try to print it out because at the end of the day ink is not free either. So to me it just wasn't worth it. So I did have one manufacturer coupon. It's a coupon that I'll insert a picture of. It came out of uh, the PNG insert. It was for 50 cents off any bounty product so I used one of those and that brought my total down to $29.47 and remember I did have $20 in extra bucks from transaction number one so that brought my total down to $9.47 and I received $10 in extra bucks so I received more than I spent so let's go ahead and look at the next transaction all right so transaction number three i bought four more of the maybelline mascaras priced at 7.99 each so that was 31 dollars and 96 cents so let's look at the coupons i used i had the ten dollars off because remember i told you guys i didn't use the ten dollars off 30 in the first transaction so i was saving it for another transaction so i had ten dollars off as you can see ten dollars off 30 and also I had a 30% off coupon that's just for you that is an in-app coupon so make sure you download the CVS app so you can have these personalized coupons as well yours may not be the same as mine they may be better they may be worse when you start off because you haven't been shopping there that often but once you start doing deals they'll start sending you more personalized coupons based on what you buy at the store so anyway, so the 30% off brought my total down to $15.37 and I also had $12 in manufacturer coupons because remember I used the $3 off mascara coupon that came out of the 619 smart source, okay? So then that brought the total down to $3.37. I did not use my $10 extra buck from this transaction because the total was only $3.37. And once you use that extra buck, they're not going to give you any change back. So I definitely wasn't going to waste $6 and some change. So I just paid the $3.37 out of pocket. And I receive five dollars in extra bucks because remember when you buy two you get five dollars back and there's a limit of three on this so I know I bought four in that transaction but remember I already did the deal twice in transaction number one so I only got five dollars back because I reached the limit so the extra two that I bought in this transaction did not give me five dollar extra bucks back but I'm perfectly okay with that because I still only paid three dollars and thirty seven cents out of pocket for something that's worth thirty one dollars and ninety six cents so I'm okay with that and I don't even know if you guys are interested in seeing the receipt but if you are this is what it looked like for that transaction 
the 10 off 30 that's a coupon that everyone will receive the 30 percent off make sure you download the app so you can get personalized coupons like that as well those are all the manufacturer coupons i use out of the 619 smart source so yeah 337 subtotal like i said 337 so yeah let's go ahead and move on to transaction number four so transaction number four, remember I have $5 from that transaction and I have $10 from this transaction. So I have $15 to spend. So transaction number four, I bought one Purex crystals that was priced at $1.99. I bought two Cottonelle that were priced at $4.99. So the total for those was $11.97. And I bought one Viva that was also priced at $4.99. So now I'm at $16.96. And here is the receipt for that one. So that $1 off household paper coupon, that's the coupon that everybody received. That's just the in-app coupon you download to your phone. So let's go ahead and look at the ad paper. So if you look right here, you'll see that the Viva and the Cottonelle, they're $4.99, but there is a dollar off coupon, like I just said. So that'll bring one of them down to $3.99. But with that coupon, you can only use it one time per card. So the rest of my toilet paper and paper towels were regular price. Only got a dollar off one time. So yeah, that's what it looks like in the ad. And that was the only coupon that I had in that transaction. And I used the $10 extra buck and I used the $5 extra buck. So out of pocket, my subtotal was $0.96 cents before taxes. So yeah, that's pretty much it with that transaction. It was $0.96. Cents. So my total out of pocket after extra bucks was $13.88. Now that's after I'm receiving my money back. And also I definitely wanted to remind you guys about the 98% rule that CVS has because I know in transaction number two, I bought two Sherman and one Bounty. That brought my total to $29.97. And I know it says spend 30, get 10, but they do have a 98% purchase rule. So as long as you're at least at 98% or more, you still get the extra bucks back. So remember in transaction number two, when I only spent $29.97, I still met the 98%, so I still received $10 in extra bucks. So keep that in mind, that rule. So that way you won't feel like you needed to buy one more for $9.99 just to meet the 30. So yeah, definitely remember that. And I know shopping at CVS can be a little bit confusing when you get into the extra bucks and all that. But I hope that this was easy for you guys to understand. And if you need me to send you the sheet by email that I've been showing you guys in the video with my transaction breakdowns, then I definitely will do so. But if you also want a video more in detail about shopping at CVS, then I definitely can do that as well. Just let me know in the comment section. But for this week, that's pretty much all the deals that I did at CVS so far. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.